looks like we're live. I'm just going to assume that we are. Uh, welcome to the weekly reset. Uh, same stream, different face. Uh, for those of you who may not be familiar, hi, I'm Dennis. I've been working for the channel full-time for a while now. More than a year, I think. Um, and I'm picking up the weekly reset stream this week because Yor isn't here. He's currently enjoying a well-earned holiday. Joyce and I are manning the fort, keeping up with the content. Um, and uh, yeah, we've, we've, been with, we've been busy with the new, uh, the new update. Uh, thanks for confirming that on live on both channels. Joyce, also the Scarch is good to see you. Thank you so much for joining. And Rafik over on YouTube, hello to you as well. Uh, but yeah, so far today has been an absolute shit show. <laughs> Which is no one's fault in particular. Uh, but for those of you on PlayStation console might know, update isn't live on there yet. So currently, and you you might see it from the from the button in the top left, we're currently playing on, on Xbox uh, because PlayStation isn't working. Gallagher asking what is in Reddit shop? Yeah, let's check that first because that's of course the first and, and, and most important thing. Dennis stream, what is this? I'm just taking over weekly reset while you're on holiday. So that's been a while. I have to say, uh, fair warning, usually when you're is away and I do the Reddit resets, Reddit stuff is terrible. So let's see if we continue the streak. Let's see if we continue the streak. Hello, my friend. I'm, s I'm scared. But if it's bad this week, you guys can all blame me, okay? If, it, if it's bad, it's my... Or technically, Always you can nice blame your because he's on holiday. So if you see any about... Uh, we'll send we'll see way. how bad it is. I'm, I'm scared. Please don't suck. What do you have today? Okay. That's not terrible, I think. I don't even know what half of these are. So the daily is one of the uh, the elk mounts. Or I, th I think I've had people saying in the comments that it's caribou, not an elk. But that's good. The Oh, that's one of the, the light beam swords. That's pretty cool. I don't think I have that one yet. I should actually should go, ahead, go ahead and get that. We have Knights of the Round Table tattoos. <laughs> Thank you for for confirming what, what I'm seeing right now. Red is actually okay. Deep person can see you too. Smug chipmunk. Everyone, hello, hello. Tyrannus hat tattoo, also kind of cool. Draugr right arms, some kind of cool tattoos, but there is three of them. And we have the Blessed Warrior. Didn't that come out like a couple of weeks ago? That's sick. Okay, that's pretty cool. And then we have the High Elf Bracers. Uh, High Elf being just a reskin of the uh, Thorpeck, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, about the Bifrost items, I think I'm gonna go check in a bit. I didn't see them yet either, but I think they might have been added with the um, with the Redda reset. So actually, if we do go ahead and reset the game right now, there might be some new items. I'm gonna wait ahead uh, till someone in chat confirms it. I'm gonna buy this and play around with it. Um, Your is on holiday official cane 666. Very ominous name. I like it. I like the style. Uh, you're currently on holiday, which is why I'm taking over the weekly research team. We're gonna buy this. We're gonna see what it a does. Striking look, coupled with an efficient design. Thank, thank you for confirming what we can already see from the uh, from the item card. Uh, this doesn't look all that interesting, if I'm being honest. But then again, you're always wears the stuff rather selling on stream. That's we so we might as well. We might as well. Let's get it. Hello? Please give me my pants. It's gonna wait a second before we get it. But yeah, overall, especially considering also a, a kind of a cool mount in the daily slot, not bad at all. I think this is a solid 7 out of 10. Because I know you're always just the ratings. I, I think I think he's Thank always a bit too I am sure I genuine. See you so maybe that's why soon. my numbers end up being a bit lower than his. But I, I feel like this is a solid... Uh, a solid 7 out of 10. Have you got a contract good stuff in here. I think the suit is really cool. We're gonna, we're gonna try that out. Opti Gamer asking, when is the update happening for PS5? Else. I have no idea. We've been trying to get the update on PS5 for two hours straight. Um, didn't have any... Don't have anything yet. So it's really unfortunate. If anyone is playing on PS5, um, let us know if you got it working. I'm just gonna pick up these to make up for some of the lost you, Adam Thompson My saying Bifrost Eyes in the store now, let's hands. go. I think we do so need to reboot the game for that. So we're gonna do that. 
But that is really nice. Is the Thanos pack also there, or, so or is that not released yet? See you later. I was kind of hoping that was going to release today, too. Uh, let's see. We do, of course... Before we reboot the game to get even more awesome new stuff, where are you, where are you, where are you? Yes. It does look really cool. And I think the perk one is also pretty okay. So we're just gonna equip that, dual wield it with another sword, because that makes the special attack better. Uh, where's my Basim sword? There we go, because I like that one for some extra added stats. And we also can have a look at... So some pretty, some pretty tight boots. Yeah, you can see that these boots aren't just made for walking. Not that there's anything wrong with that. Uh, so we'll equip those two. And then not have Eivor wear a skirt because then you <laughs> can't see it. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to check the store. Oh, they are here already. Awesome. So I can just get them straight away. Uh, is there also a new pack? No, there is not. It is just this one, which is now cheaper because I did just buy the plant. Uh, so I'm gonna... Shimmering shield and iridescent axe were chiseled from the same crystal used to build the Bifrost Asgard's Rainbow Bridge. Together, they can repel aggressive attacks while cleaving the most obstinate opposition. That is a very roundabout way of saying smashing heads. Uh, but sure. So, I think, and correct me if, if I'm wrong, I think these are just reskins of the uh, Raven Guard and the Varen's Axe. Which I'm not 100% sure on because I'm... I don't have them fully upgraded yet, but I think Thanos back coming next week must be then. We'll, we'll check in a bit. We're gonna, we're gonna try these out, at the very least. So, we buy them. We get them for free. For no money. Which is great. There we go. And then they should immediately appear in our inventory as well. Yeah, there we go. Alright, so let's have a look at these two. And then we're gonna we're gonna play around with them a bit, see what see what they do. You read a store is only gold, so no donor regular deal see on this safe. You are correct. Very very observant of you. Um, <laughs> which also adds to uh, to the chaos that is today because there are some Dawn of Ragnarok things that I need to check for the update video. Uh, just a quick update on that. We are going to try and get an update video out on this today. But obviously with the patch still not being available on PS5, that complicates things. So if you don't see it today, don't worry, it's still coming. We are working on that. But obviously we're working through some issues right now that are kind of outside our control. Uh, but we're going to try and get it to you guys as quickly as possible. Anyway, increases heavy damage after each light hit. I wonder how much that will actually make a difference, especially on a lighter weapon like a bearded axe. But we're, we're going to see. We're going to see. I'm going to try this one out. Let's start with this because it's it's shiny and new. It does look kind of cool. And then the shield. It's all the way at the bottom. Yeah, you're right. It is, it is something. It is nice that we're getting free stuff. Like, I don't mind... Reskins for uh, for the free items. I felt the fact that they were doing it for a lot of um, uh, Helix packs back at the beginning uh, was pretty bad. And I did not agree with that at all. But this is this is kind of okay. I need to put on a different armor that that makes it so that we can show the legs. I think I think this one. We want legs. Legs for days as well. Yeah, there we go. So now you can see the boots kind of okay. So, oh, so it got like an iridescent effect. It does look really cool that it changes so much based on the reflection on the light. But it's also kind of off-putting. It, <laughs> it's so shiny. It is so shiny. My goodness. All right. Let's do a rather contract and actually try these sets. What does the shield do? Blocking temporarily increases light damage. And then we have light hits increasing heavy damage. So the playstyle is you block, you do some light attacks, and then you finish off with a heavy attack, which then does more damage. Up to 35 heavy damage. Of course, 30, uh, plus 35 doesn't actually translate to 35 actual damage because of the way that Valhalla's stat system works. 
but yeah, we're gonna... Which one is the big one? Because there's always one bigger one. I don't even remember. We'll just do this one first. I'll destroy the cards I think always has at least some more enemies. We'll go here. A reverse holo shield. Basically, we're playing Pokemon now. So it, it might be a duplicate, but mine is holo, so you should give me the Charizard. That's how it works, right? No Ezio outfit yet. I haven't checked Connect yet if there's anything new actually, but usually the Connect uh, the Connect piece that happens on Thursday, not Tuesday, if I'm not mistaken. What's in Veda store? We have the uh, one of the laser beam swords and the legs from the Blessed Knight set, as well as one of the elk mounts. I am not on PS4. I'm currently playing on uh, Series X because the out the update is not out yet on PlayStation. All right, let's see if we can get into some trouble and see if this new... Oh, no, we can get into some trouble with you, I suppose. So, a light attack is 24. Then we... Well, was that a block? Did that trigger the perk? Is that the perk? Let me check what the perk icon is so I know it's working. Uh, no, we did not trigger the perk. So, we wait. Come here. Come on, hit me. Now we triggered the perk. And now the cat doesn't want to be hit by a light attack. That was my... No, that didn't count because it didn't have stamina. So we block again. Come on. Don't be such a baby. That's an unblockable. That's also unblockable. You know what? Screw this guy. Bye-bye. I don't remember reading anything about an island trade post issue um, in the patch notes. Most uh, fixes for the current patch are focused on Dawn of Ragnarok quest. Uh, and Dawn of Ragnarok in general has, the, has received the most uh, fixes. Don't remember reading anything about uh, island trade posts. Okay, we are almost in position to get ready to rumble. But I have a feeling... I, ha I have a suspicious feeling that it's not going to do much. I hope I'm wrong. But I, I don't you think I will be. But we'll see, we'll see. Right, normal enemy, so we can use a normal lock. Hello. Please fight me. Hey, not escaping me that way. Oh, shit. <laughs> he says throwing a smoke ball. Okay. So that's a 25 on the hit. Let's see how much we do without the perk. 24. So that's the difference of one damage for the shield. That's fantastic. So now we do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 7, 8, oh never mind, I think it's already the first tax. So that's 52 for a heavy attack. Now we don't have any stacks anymore and it's fi 53 for some reason. Am I doing something wrong or is the perk just not? Yeah, okay, so it is that. So effectively... <laughs> I assume... <laughs> to now that I know which icon I'm looking for, it's gonna be easier. We have to do it the other way around, by the way. There was another thing. We're gonna keep checking. We're gonna keep checking. Because I wanna know if it works. You need to leave because you're just annoying. Come back here. Okay. You then. That's all nice and good. So that's 46 damage, but that was a crit. So that still doesn't really tell us anything. Okay. 35 is what we have. Now, we go one, two, three, four. Now nah, he's gonna die before that. But maybe the perks remain long enough for me to get to this person. No, they don't because they also... Wow, they're gone really quickly. So you can't really save them up either. So far, I'm not impressed. Two, three, four, one, two, three. And now we hit him with the... 
57. All right, but he was already lower health. Like, it's so hard. There are so many variables in Valhalla that you need to take into account when testing these type of things that it's really difficult to figure out if it's working or if it's not working. We need to find another enemy. I, th I think I have an idea how we're going to test it. Although, actually, no, you're not, you're not really. You're not really doing it. Yeah, I see a lot of people talking about New Game Plus again. Like, I, I know everyone's still curious about that, but from the beginning they've said that if they are going to add it, and as far as we know it's still an if, so no 100% confirmation that it will happen, but they would add it as the final thing, and we know there's at least two more pieces of content coming, so New Game Plus isn't going to be there for a bit. Unfortunately. That is the breaking card. Okay, so, so far not good for the iridescent axe. It looks cool. Oh, I'm gonna be getting trophies all day now, of course, as well, because I haven't... <laughs> I hate this so much. That is a good question. I wonder if the shield gets some lens flare if directed entirely towards the sun. I don't think it will. But we can try. Oh. Didn't mean to do that. How do you... Yeah, like this. No, but actually, when you hold it in, into the sun, it just looks really boring. That's actually... No. I, I like it better when it's not completely in the sun. <laughs> You're gonna be getting every trophy for the game now. Oh, God. Okay, well, just bear with us, ladies and gentlemen, as today is a bit of a special day. Um, I want to check if this thing works. Uh, so, I'm going to go to... What is a good location for this? I think... We are going to go over... Here. Uh, where is it? No, it's up the other side. I'm an idiot. There we go. That's where we want to go. Because I know there is, a, there is a big dude here. And a lot of smaller guys all around. The weapon is not in the store. It was for me. But it's probably only there if you have the update. So if you're playing on PlayStation consoles, the update isn't there yet. And it still doesn't look like we have the... Uh, the Thanos set. So the, I assume that's coming next week. At least I remembered how to call yeah. it. This is not the uh, the mount that's in the heli uh, or in the helix store. Uh, Reda selection currently. That one is shinier. I think it's the the, the thunder one, right? The fallen. We're just gonna we're just gonna run a bit. And then we're gonna do one good test with the weapon. And it's probably as bad as I think it is. Which is fine, because it's still like free stuff and you can use the skin in transport. Yeah! No wait, people are saying that the update is currently on PS4, so that is wonderful. So at least I can swap after stream and record the stuff that I need to record. What's new? Well, there's free weapons, so that's something. Apart from that, it's a, it's a pretty so does that small Finish patch. You. Doesn't really change a whole lot. Alright, so I'm gonna find the big dude. I'm gonna give him a smack. There we go. So that was 45 damage. Chat, help me remember. 45. Now we're gonna be hitting these guys. And now that we're back up with some stacks, we're gonna hit him with another heavy for... Okay, never mind. That did way more than I thought it would, but I don't think that... Something went wrong there, because it also didn't take... ...my stacks. 109. So it... Uh, oh, never mind, I know what's going on. I'm being silly. That wasn't the perk. That's just me being one now. Because the Wolf Warrior perk is... Ironically enough, one of the only things that reliably improves your damage in Valhalla. Okay. 
Oh, that was the wrong enemy, but that's fine. Building up the third. And now we go. Oh, never mind. It's 81. I don't know, man. Still, if you can pull it off, it's no great. I'm much more interested in. And we're gonna swap to that right now. Yeah, I counted the back damage, so it didn't count. But I think the main reason that the damage was so improved is the fact that uh, that wolf warrior triggered. You might actually need to disable that to properly test the damage. But I want to see what this does and if this is good. We're going to be equipping that. Passive sword on the left hand still looks like the vampire sword from ages ago. But hey, what are you going to do about it? And then we need five hits from this combo. I think was the idea. I'm doing terrible by the way. This guy just needs to go. Bye. One, two, brother. Oh, there we go. Let's strip the dog off. I mean, it could do a little bit more fire damage build up, but that is pretty awesome. So, I mean, well, the other one is for free, but if, if you were to ask which one of these would you pick, the, it, the sword is way better. It's a bit of a hassle to trigger it, but it works. Yeah, I'm going to pick a fight with this guy, too. That seems like a good idea. And now he burns into a crisp. See, this is great. This is what we want. We have the advantage. Although, once again, I just feel like it would be nice if the build up was a bit quicker. But it's it's still it's still cool. Who's saying that lock on sir? God won't let us lose. Lover into your face. Your would agree with you. Sadly, he's not here, so this is what you're getting. Listen, I'm used to playing Soulsborne games, okay? That beats the local right into you, and it never leaves. But real talk, bo both of their advantages, I feel. Your mobility in combat is uh, a little better if you don't use local. Can I get out of the grave? I'm not the one who's dead here! Thank you. Wonderful. Um, but... I do like the added benefit of being able to strafe around an enemy while you are local. Which is why I use local because I'm more used to using that type of mobility. Either way, uh, yeah, Veta Sword really cool, uh, the other one not so much. The iridescent, uh, oh, didn't want to do that, and this. Well, if you, can, if you can get two pieces of this, because I think this is the first one that showed up at Red. If you can get two pieces of it, you can get increased heavy damage when equipped, which increases it by 20. Which is not as much as you would have when you increase it with the shield. I want to give it one more proper shield. To make sure that we get it to work the way it is intended. What is the real name of the Thanos armor? I honestly don't remember. <laughs> I think... I do remember it was ins uh, inspired by a South American, or Native American culture, I should say. South American. I think it was the Mayas, but it might have been the Aztecs. I'm pretty sure it was the Mayas, though. Uh, where do we go now? Because I, I need to have a plan B for this. We won't see n another piece from us. Probably... But we might get lucky. I didn't expect to see this one here now either, but here we are. Uh, I just need to find, think of a place where he can find a big guy all by himself, which doesn't happen all that often. Because I don't want him having to dodge constantly. What happened to all the Elden Ring videos that, uh, that you were going to do? To be completely honest, um, first of all, we tried a lot of things in that super busy uh, period and some of them worked out better than others but for me to... Like for Elden Ring that was basically 
me. Not to say that your didn't help. Your was, has been a great help at like revising the scripts and stuff like that. But all the research, all the gameplay um, had to come from mostly me, except for some sorcerer stuff that Joyce was also really able to help out with, which was awesome, by the way, because nor Joyce uh, nor your had played a FromSoft game up to that point, so then being able to help already was great. Um, but most of that came down to me, which for a single person to do for a game as big as Elden Ring, um, and then also trying to help out with other videos on the channel was just a bit much. And also I think that partly due to me having a bit of a different style, not all of the video ideas worked out as well as they should have, which is why we decided to... You know, put our time and effort somewhere that we that we knew uh, would do better for the channel. But I am still like incredibly grateful that we got to make videos on that game in the first place because that was really cool for me as a FromSoft fan, and some of them uh, are are still actually doing really really well, which kind of surprises me. So I am really glad we tried it, but it was a bit of a rough experience for me because of how much. Uh, yeah, because of how how big of a game Elden Ring is, uh, that definitely played a factor. So yeah, I, f I don't think we're going to get a co-op Elden Ring stream soon. Maybe, maybe when, uh, when a DLC gets announced. Who knows? I do remember there being a big guy here, but it's not the big guy I want. Look, I'm, looking, I'm looking for very specific big guys. <laughs> Try on this guy, I suppose. Because we get one, two, three, four, five. And then we hit him with the 48. I think that worked. And that is 61, but that's a crit. And that's 47. Okay, so it really, really doesn't make much of a difference. Which is kind of what we were already expecting. Oh, well. Shouldn't look a gift horse in the mouth. Wait, wait, wait. We do get three new weapons. Or a new weapon and a new shield, I should say. They look pretty cool. They have pretty unique look to them. Just don't hold them up into the sun. And, uh, yeah, the perks on it aren't great. But then again, <laughs> a lot of the base game weapons kind of have the same problem, so... And in, in all fairness, they have really been improving the uh, the free stuff from like the festival stuff. Like the, the recent monster challenge weapons are miles ahead of, of stuff they put out. So I don't mind them putting out stuff like this either. The Egyptian armor set is part of the uh, Druids DLC, Eagle Vision Alchemist. Uh, so yeah. I think that's all we got for now. I wanted to make it a short stream uh, as well. Because, uh, of course, we are going back to work on the video. Because now that the PS5 patch is actually live, uh, I can do the rest of the research and do the rest of the writing. Is it worth it to buy the Valin? If you like that mount skin, sure. I'd argue that the sword you can get right now is a bit cooler, but it is a pretty cool mount. Like, you can get one of those types of mounts in the base game, but not the, uh, not the Thunder variant. But yeah, um, I'm, uh, we're going to go back to working on the... Oh, what? Joe's saying she still doesn't what? have it, so it's only PS4 then. Never mind. The new Egyptian chef is, is in the Ubisoft store. What are people talking you about? Uh, I am confused. There is a new Egyptian set? Oh, you mean the... Uh, or do you mean the Bayek Origin outfit? Because that, that is there. No, still don't see any new sets in the... Uh, in the store. Yeah, uh, so we're gonna call it here. Sorry for uh, the fact it was a bit of a short stream. I wanted to check out the weapons and stuff a lot longer, but honestly there's really not all that much interesting to go over. Uh, but we'll of we course give you a rundown of everything you need to know about uh, the new weapons, as well as the rest of the update of course. Because there are some interesting little changes. There's no, there's no really big things in this one, but there are some interesting little changes. Uh, so we're going to get back to work on that. So thank you everyone so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, one more time. Uh, if you are currently thinking, hey, does Reda have any cool stuff? He kind of does. Because uh, Reda has this one going. Right now. So that's pretty cool. 
and also the legs for the blessed night set so that's also really cool so uh yeah thank you so much for coming we do have uh more streams coming up later in the week as we are planning on doing a co-op stream for both the new uh marvel's avengers hero jane foster as well as the outriders world slayer dlc so keep an eye out to the channel to see when those go live um there should at least be a countdown on youtube when we're uh, when we're gonna plan to do those and yeah we're gonna get back to working on the videos for the rest of the week because we have of course the update video coming and there should be more videos coming your way as well um might be a small slice of pvp dennis versus your battle in in one of them if you keep an eye out for that so uh so yeah, that should be really cool. Thank you everyone so much for watching. Thank you, Diamond, for modding, uh, being amazing as always. And thank you guys for the support for the channel as well. Uh, I'll see you in the next stream.